This week, a trick that's actually better because you screw it up. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Netflix and GoDaddy. Welcome to the only show that'll give you more self-confidence than a pair of three-inch platform shoes. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and I absolutely love this week's effect. It's a killer trick, it has an impressive ending, and a twist that you won't believe. Welcome to the hot seat. How's it going, I'm Brian? Julio. Julio? Avanya. Avanya. Phoenix. Phoenix, awesome. You guys like card tricks? Love them. Yeah, really, most people don't say they love card tricks, but that's what's great. You're sitting at the bar, you got a deck of cards, and you know, you just want to goof off and blow some brains, and that's what I got for you guys right here. I've got a deck trick, and the best part is, is I don't do hardly anything. You guys do all the hard work, and I'm going to take all the credit. Sound good? All right. <laughs> You're like, what the hell kind of trick is this? It sucks. Here's what I want to do. Who's going to be the, the hands to actually, who can handle a deck of cards? You know you can handle some cards, Las Vegas boy. All right, there we go. Julio, do me a favor, buddy. I want you to, and you guys can decide among yourselves. We're going to pick a card. We're going to try to make it as random as possible, and I intend to prove that I knew from the beginning what card you would be thinking of. In fact, I've written Brian's prediction, and in fact, I'll just set it right there so everybody knows that I'm not cheating, right? Here's what I want you to do, buddy. I want you to think of a two-digit number, uh, let's say between 10 and 20, relatively small. Whatever that number is, I want you to deal down that many cards right there in a nice, neat pile. Let me know once you got that done. I'll even not, I'm not even going to look. That's how lazy I am. I'm not even going to watch my own damn trick. You got it, boss? Yep. Awesome. Now I want you to take those cards. We'll get rid of these. These don't matter anymore. And I want you to think of the two digits of your number. We're going to make this a little more random. And I want you to add those two digits up and deal that many cards down. So like, let's say, for example, your first number was 14. And you dealt 14 cards. So you have 14 cards. You would add up the two digits, 1 and 4, which would give you 5. So you would deal 5 cards down, okay. is what I mean. Right? So now I'm not saying just deal 5, whatever your number was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, OK? Math is hard. I <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> all right, you got it? You got it? All right, let's get rid of all these as well. So we started with 52 cards that, I, that you watched me shuffle. I handed you the deck, you picked a two-digit number, and you dealt that many cards down. I still don't know what the number, what number was it, by the way? 16. 16, so you dealt, dealt down 16 cards. Then we had you to mix it up even more, take those digits, the one and the six, add them up for seven, and you dealt down seven cards. And yet, no, even though I didn't know your numbers, I didn't know anything, I knew before the trick began, I made my prediction that you will pick the Eight of Clubs. Turn over that card. <laughs> All right, hold on. This is not screwed. This is not, in fact, if, if I can fix this, I think you guys should buy me a drink. Here you go, watch this, watch this, watch this. Ready? Whoa! So I'm not that terrible after all, right? <laughs> I tell you what, I'm going to teach you guys how this is done, but first we have to thank our sponsors. Thanks, guys. <laughs>this week we take a break from scams and cons and I want to talk about science fiction 2009 was an amazing year for sci-fi you had the new Star Trek you had Avatar but what you probably missed was one of the best science fiction movies in the recent decade I'm talking about moon starring Sam Rockwell directed by Duncan Jones also featuring the voice of Kevin Spacey this is an amazing amazing movie and I missed it in its theatrical release and I was counting down the days until finally it was available on Netflix watched it last week and was absolutely blown away see it before you learn anything about it you will not be sorry now if you don't have Netflix you can still watch the movie completely free just head on over to www.netflix.com slash scam school and sign up for your free no risk two-week free trial order moon it'll be there in only one business day and then return it don't forget when you type in the URL though that the www's at the beginning are just as important as the scam school at the end to make sure we get credit all right, guys, I love this trick because it looks like the magician has totally screwed up and is a total idiot douchebag, but then he comes out on top. And this was taught to me by a friend of mine, Steve Daly. The guy's brilliant, he's hilarious, he performs under the name Tiny Bubbles, and he's actually one of the consultants for Chris Angel's Mind Freak series. And he, uh, there's two parts to this one, okay? First, there's the card trick part. We'll go over that one first, and then we'll talk about the reveal in a second. All you have to do to get ready for this is put the three of spades 
tenth from the top. The tenth card from the top needs to be the three of spades. So set the three of spades on there. You add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine cards on top. So the tenth card down is the three of spades. That's right. Now the nice thing about it is that you can actually <laughs> shuffle the cards as long as you don't muck with that stack on top, you can shuffle the cards right in front of them. And what I like to do is not make a big deal, don't draw attention to it. Just, you know, you're shuffling cards because you're shuffling cards. And then if they're not paying attention, they're not going to notice whether or not you're affecting those top cards. Then you hand them the deck. And you say, think of any two-digit number between 10 and 20. You got one? I got one. All right, which one you got? 12. 12. Go ahead and deal down 12 cards. There we go. Let's go ahead and square, square all those up. <laughs> now, here's what's happened. At this point, you've reversed all those cards. So now, you're going to take the two digits that make up 12, which is 1 and 2, add them up for 3, and you'll deal down 3 cards. And mathematically, it just works out that whenever you do it, you'll always end up with the card they pick being the 3 of spades. Okay, works for 11, 12, wow. 13, 14, any number between 10 and 20, right? So you've already got a way that you can make them take the three of spades. But that's not the best part. The best part of this trick is you go through the whole process. You talk up like you're a total badass by showing your prediction. And normally, you show your prediction after you know what the actual card is. But because this is one of those, you look like you screwed up, and then you pull it off kind of things, you can actually reveal your prediction beforehand and say you will pick the eight of clubs. And then when they turn it over and it's the three of spades, it's such an awesome moment because all of you guys are just like, ah, in your face, spiky-haired loser. <laughs> but then you say, well, let me see if I can fix that. And all you need is any kind of heat source. And when you place it over the heat source, it magically transforms from the eight of clubs into the three of spades. Now, the way you actually make the visible change happen is that there's a pen available all over the United States. Just go and pick up one of these pilot friction pens. And these are erasable pens that have an eraser on the back. For example, here, if I write the word erase, there's a rubber tip, and when you rub it, the ink erases. The rubber tip has nothing to do with actually erasing it. It's actually the heat from the friction that's causing it to erase. So you can make any doodle you want, and when you put a flame underneath it, it will magically vanish. So wow. to set it up, all you need to do is take a regular pen and just say, you're just gonna draw a spade and a three, just like so. And then you're gonna cover it up by drawing an eight over the three and a club over the spade. Now in this case, you may notice that the friction pen is a little bit lighter than the other pen that I used. Now you can fix that by just finding another lighter pen, but I've also noticed with the friction pens, the slower you draw, the thicker the ink comes out, and the better it looks on the prediction. And then, right in front of their eyes, you can hold it over the flame, and it totally vanishes. Wow. Make sense? Yeah. Wow. So, cool. two parts for this one. Now that you know the mechanics of it, we're gonna see if you guys can pull it off after the break. This week's Domain Smack comes from a letter I got a few months back that reads, Hey Brian, just sending you a note to make sure you get credit for another Domain Smack URL from GoDaddy, www.worstdangbarbecue.com. This domain is going to be a traveling domain smack to highlight different sites of those on the professional barbecue competition circuit. Check it out. By the way, love the show. Watch through TiVo. Peace out, Jim. That's a great idea, Jim, because you can, using GoDaddy, you can continuously keep pointing your URL domain smack to different sites every single day. Think about it. If you use the promo code SCAM10 at checkout and you get your domain for only $7.49 and you change the forwarding every day, that means you get an entire year's worth of insults for only two Two cents per day. I never realized what a value it was. What are you waiting for? Get your piece of the internet at GoDaddy.com. All right, Phoenix, you, my friend, are going to be the magician. So before the trick even begins, you have to prep your prediction. So you're going to use a regular pen to write, you will pick the three of spades, which I've already written out for you. And then you're going to use the magic heat-sensitive pen. Change that three of spades into a three of clubs. Okay, so this one is already done. Yeah, right? that one's already done. Okay. All right, fold it up. Okay. 
So remember also, you want to set your prediction out where they can see it the whole time so they know you're not doing any switcheroo beforehand. And then what's, what do you want to do to set up the, how do you have to set up the deck of cards? Okay, I want to make sure that the, that the three, that the three of spades is a 10 card down. That's correct. So, okay. so I put the three on top, so go ahead and set it up the right okay. way. Okay. All right, so I got a little card trick I want to show you here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so what I want you to do is to, here, take these cards. I want you to think of a, of a number between 10 and 20. And I want you to deal out th that number of cards. So far, 100%. He's on target. He's on the mark. OK. Now I want you to, to take the number that you're thinking of. For example, if it's, a, if it's 12, add the 1 and the 2 together. And you come up with a number, which will be 3. OK. So add those two numbers together that you have in your mind. And deal those cards. Okay, I know the, what your prediction is going to be. Okay, and I'm going to show you what it is right now. The Eight of Clubs. All right, turn it over. Is he right? Ooh. Ha ha, stupid magician. Oh, You're totally wait. lame. <laughs> I am delayed, cool baby. And what? Let me show you how. What? Some delayed cool action. What? The magic of the fire. Check oh. it out. Oh, wizardry. Look at that. I want oh. to marry you and have your children now. <laughs> You're the best magician ever. Very good job, Phoenix. <laughs>this thing for you and I got to set up a challenge because when Steve set this up for me and he showed me the trick he showed me some alternate handlings you can do with it and uh, he made a, a pretty tasteless joke actually and I would never write this kind of joke this is Steve's joke and in fact I'm betting we can come up with something better than the way he did so in this case he actually pulls this out and he writes down the word Kotex. Kotex. Now, with the Kotex, it's it's covering something up. You know what the... I can't believe it. You know what Kotex covers up, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's the challenge, though. I'm going to put it to the Scam School viewers to see if we can't come up with a better word within a word. I want everyone to submit them and send them in. But I can't thank you guys enough. That was such a blast. You guys are freaking awesome. All right, thank, thank you so much. <laughs> First and foremost, we want to thank Steve Daly for tipping us off to the friction heat pins. That transformation looks nothing short of magical. Second of all, when you're pulling off this trick, make sure to play it up. Be a buffoon. Go ahead and come crashing to the ground. Let everybody laugh at you and then blow them away by transforming your incorrect prediction into the right one. Lastly, we've got to come up with more jokes besides the Kotex covers the whole. So I'm putting all of you guys to work starting right now. I want you to find words that you can hide within other words and come up with some puns or gags or jokes so that we can start using them. And I want you to post them at Twitter using the hashtag PenTrick. We'll round them up and feature them in a future Scam School episode. Don't forget, if you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at revision3.com. Or you can head over to scamschool.tv and check out all of our episodes right back to episode one. If you're doing the Twitter thing, you can follow the show at twitter.com slash scamschool. If you want to follow my adventures, head on over to twitter.com slash schwood. By the way, I do a lot of touring. If you want to catch me when I'm in your hometown, that's probably the best way to know what I'm up to. Next week, we're going to be doing arts and crafts as we learn to make figurines using fingernail clippings which is pretty gross. So I'm gonna drink while I think about that. Fingernails. <laughs>